So my wife wants my permission to let her sleep with someone she knows from work. She says she will let me sleep with any woman of my choice if I let her do so. So what do I do? So we have been married for a little over a year. It's been a pretty heavy marriage. We've had small arguments as any couple would, but nothing crazy. We have never talked about an open marriage or sharing each other before. The other day, my wife comes up to me and asked me if I would sleep with another woman if I had a free pass. I told her, no. She was who I wanted and more than enough for me. She rolled her eyes and looked a little annoyed with what I said. Which surprised me because I thought that would make her happy. She said, really? Not with anyone? That's a little crap. I stood by my answer she then admitted that she would. I asked who. After a bit of coaxing, she finally told me that there is a colleague at work that she would hook up with. I asked if she had talked to him about it or if they had any type of sexual relationship, she denied it. The conversation ended shortly after that. I was a little suspicious, so I started to look through her phone. In her photos, I noticed many nudes that had never been sent to me. I talked to her about this. And she admitted that she had been sending them to the guy at work and that they have been sexting. Since this was now out in the open, she asked my permission for her to meet up with him. She said that the conditions were that they would meet up less than five times, and it would only be sexual and not emotional or anything like that, and that I could have a free pass too. I was shocked that she would do this to me. She had never been overly flirty with other guys or talked to them in front of me before. I thought she was shy around most people and timid. She just admitted that she finds him so hot and attractive and knows that she would never have the opportunity to meet up with someone like this again. She also mentioned how he had a bigger package than any she had ever seen. She said that his personality is awful, and it would never be anything more than sex. That this is just something that she would regret if she didn't do it. She told me that she loved me in bed, but this was just something new that she wanted to experience and that she would never do it again. As I told her in the beginning, I only want her and don't want a free pass. She keeps insisting saying that she would feel really bad if she does it. I don't take advantage of my free pass. She even offered to talk to some of her friends to see if they would be interested or try to find someone elsewhere. I told her I didn't know what to say and that I'd think about it. So what do I do? Do I try to go along with this? Do I break it off? We do truly love each other so that would be so hard. I know she loves me a lot. Update 1. I decided to have an important discussion with my wife last night about this situation and about the future of our marriage. I started off by telling her that I am not going to be using the free pass that she has given me. She huffed at this and was still pretty upset. I questioned her why she would be so upset that I'm not sleeping with someone else. She explained to me that it was immature and petty and that all of her guy friends and people that she knows would jump at the opportunity. She explained how she thought it was just for me to prove a point that I'm better than her and don't need other women to satisfy me. I explained that I'm not taking it because I truly love her. I love her, and I love having sex with her. Even if I didn't love the sex, I wouldn't be looking elsewhere for it. She said that it's not fair for her not to be able to do this since I slept with many more women than she did men before we got married. She explained that it is only fair that she gets to do this since I have gotten to experience so much more. I questioned her about the guy from work. I wanted to figure out how she knew so much about him and his cock. After questioning her for over 30 minutes, she admitted that she has felt him up, but that they have not went further than that yet. I asked if they had already planned a time to meet up, and she said, yes. They were going to try to this weekend, pending our discussion. She said that since I am not taking my free pass, that she will truly feel awful about it, but still does not want to cancel. I told her that I at least want to meet the guy beforehand. She agreed to bring him over at some point before they meet up. After noticing that I'm visibly upset, she tried to cheer me up by telling me that I might really enjoy this and that. We are just trying something new. She brought up that we have done some cuckold roleplay before, and this may be something that I really like. She tells me that she will video it for me in case it is something I like. I tell her that it's fine and that she could be right, but I'll only know after the fact. I explained that if I am only upset after and not turned on at all, that I will not be able to approve her meeting this guy again. She says that she understands. 
We had some great sex last night, and she has been extra clingy since she noticed how upset I've been. I even woke up to a full cooked breakfast and a massage this morning. I can tell that she does truly care for me and wants me to be happy. So, basically, we have an arrangement now that if I don't like how it goes one time after they meet up, that they will break it off. If she is unable to break it off with him, then I will seek counseling and then probably prepare for the worst. Update 2. My wife finally met up with her coworker last weekend. I won't get into all the details, but they had lots of sex and did a lot of things. Afterwards, I spoke to my wife about boundaries. She got upset pretty quickly and said that I didn't have a right to tell two other adults what they can or can't do in a bedroom. Even after I was feeling better about letting her sleep with him, and be with him, this left a bad taste in my mouth. Later, I asked her if I could be with them the next time they meet. She seemed okay with it, but said she would ask her coworker friend. He said that he didn't feel comfortable with it, so I couldn't be there. Is it normal not to set boundaries in an open or a cuckold relationship? Update 3. This past weekend is what really did it in for me. She left Saturday morning without showing a care for me in the world. She made me take pictures of her to send to the guy before she left. She left without even giving me a kiss. At first, she explained that she would be back that night. Nighttime came and she was nowhere to be seen. The next morning, she tells me that she decided to stay the night with him without even asking or telling me first. That's not even the worst part. That night, he invited over one of his friends and she messed around with both of them. She didn't even care to ask me about that first. When she arrived back at the house, she told me all this stuff. I started to get visibly upset. She laughed and said, get over it, and that it's not manly. I couldn't put up with it anymore. She obviously no longer cared for me. No spouse would say anything like this to their partner if they actually cared for them. I was just shocked at no point in our marriage until the other week that I noticed any signs that she would be this way. She had always been the most loving, caring girl that I had ever met. It's like a flip switch when she met that guy and changed into a different person. I didn't know one person could change someone that much and that quickly. I'm 99% sure that she's going to end up dating this guy. She has spent the past few weekends together with him and even talks about him around me. The other night, I told her that if she doesn't at least put in boundaries, that I will leave. She said, okay, and laughed a lot. Without saying another word, I packed up some bags and booked a room at the nearest hotel. I've told my brother about this situation, and he has offered for me to come stay with him for a little while. I ended up going to his place for the night. She sent me some texts that night and the next day. She was acting upset and confused as to why I left, and she was saying that she missed me. The next day, I knew we needed to go back to my house so that there wouldn't be as much of chance that I would lose it. My brother went with me to help. When we got there, my wife was trying to talk to me. I had nothing to say to her at the moment, so I just ignored her and tried to get past her. She was grabbing me and trying to hold me. My brother helped to get her off of me and told her that he would call the cops if she didn't stop messing with me. She ended up leaving. I haven't heard from her since. This situation has destroyed me. I tried to let her do this to make her happy. I didn't want it in the first place, but I tried to make myself like it to please her. I never saw any signs or anything that she would be this manipulative and this bad of a person before we got married. I don't know where any of this came from. She was the most amazing, thoughtful person ever. Now that this has happened, my whole outlook on life and relationships is different. So what advice would you guys give me? Whether it's next steps in dealing with my current wife or in the future when I'm back in the dating game, how do I tell our families and friends? How do I speak to my wife about it? I'm really having a tough time handling all this. Update 4. I had left her last week and went to stay with my brother. After talking to him and reading several comments, I figured it would be a good idea to try to go back and stay at my house. To try and make sure that I wouldn't lose it when we got divorced. The next day, I decided to go back there. My brother was going with me too. When we got there, my wife was trying to talk to me and grabbed me. I ignored her the whole time and pretty much acted like she didn't exist. She got pretty rough and was beating on my chest. I finally pushed away. My brother told her that if she doesn't leave me alone, that he would call the cops. She finally left after that. 
I didn't hear from her the rest of that night. The next day, I did receive a picture of her under the coworker. It was a normal selfie of them together. There was no text with it. I showed her to my brother. And he said that she must be sick in the head to do that. I finally met up with a divorce attorney for an initial meeting and consultation. It went well, and he told me things that I needed to know in preparation for the divorce. He said that the pictures and videos I have of them will be helpful evidence. The only problem with the situation is that she may prove that I agreed to everything, even though there was manipulation involved. My brother and I went over to my parents to sit down and talk with them about what was going on. They were shocked to hear this about her and almost didn't believe it at first. My brother had my back and confirmed with them that everything I said was true. They wanted to talk to her, but I told them not to. The next step was telling her parents. I debated about this for a while as I did not know if it was my place to do so. After a while, I finally decided that it would be best to. I know that if I didn't tell them first, she would probably tell them awful lies about me. I set up a time to meet them. At their place. I went over alone. After a while of just sitting there and having a small talk, I finally built up the courage to tell them what was going on. The looks on their faces were unbelievable. They looked disgusted. They had never seen this side of their daughter. I was surprised that they didn't put any of the blame on me. They understood that I loved her and wanted to do whatever I could to make her happy. They even hugged me before I left. We were all in tears. They knew that divorcing her was the last thing I wanted to do, but understood that I had to at this point. This weekend, I spent most of my time talking to my attorney and chilling with my brother at the house. Saturday night came, and I received a text from my wife stating that she was coming over. I texted her back and told her that she wasn't welcome here right now. She didn't listen. And about 20 minutes later, she showed up. I felt like I didn't really have a choice at this point put to talk to her. She started off by saying that she had been talking to her parents and they were very angry with her and that they mentioned us getting a divorce I was hoping that they wouldn't tell her that as I had not even broke the news of that tour yet. I wasn't even planning on telling her in person, I had planned for it all to be through the lawyer. She told me that what I did was childish and that I must not be a real man because I talked to her parents before her. I told her that I didn't feel comfortable talking to her anymore as she had manipulated me so much already and that I talked to her parents first because I knew if I didn't that she would lie to them and accuse everything on me. She then kept asking me if it was true that I was really filing for a divorce. I confirmed that I was she started sobbing uncontrollably and didn't really say anything for a good 15 minutes. She finally stopped and was asking me why I was doing this and why I didn't give her a heads up. I explained that throughout all of this, she has been super manipulative and has treated me like I don't exist. I have been so humiliated by her and the coworker. She promised that she would stop if I had took her back. I told her that I couldn't. She finally left after that. The next morning, I woke up to a lot of texts and missed calls from her. They're mostly long messages and voicemails of her apologizing and explaining how much she loves me. It really hurt to listen to them because I was reminded of our past and how much I loved her. I was crying like crazy at this point and it took everything in me not to respond back to her. I just kept reminding myself what she has done to me the last few weeks since she left that night. I've gotten many texts from her friends telling me that I need to take her back. They were cussing me out and telling me how wrong. It was of me to go. To her parents. They said that now they are the only people she has. This has all been so crazy. I can't believe how emotional the past few days have been. I can't believe that even her parents are on my side. I do feel bad for telling them first and making them turn on her, but I'm glad they're on my side. Her friends continue to attack me and send threats. I've not heard from my wife ever since she sent the long texts and messages. I'm guessing that she is either staying with the coworker or her friends as her parents are against her at the moment. I'm surprised I was able to stand up this strongly against her. I hope to continue to be able to do so. I think that this weekend was big for me. It showed me that. I do have the strength to stand up. To her and leave her. Thanks everyone for your concern and all of the kind messages. I will do my best to try and still update everyone on anything major that happens.